Christians often say that their prayers are not answered when they pray and they believe that maybe God does not hear all prayers but that's not true God hears all prayers <clears throat> but often our repentance is not complete we still have our own motives and our own desires and the Spirit of God who lives in us desires according to the will of God because He knows the best often when we pray we pray with our own fleshly desires in mind uh, sometimes we ask for a good thing it might be sickness or some other problem that we have and we are praying and we are asking God to to heal us or to alleviate the problem and it is just as though God does not hear us the problem is that we have our sight set on our desire our sight is not set on God because if you belong to Jesus Christ nothing just happens without a purpose God does everything with a purpose and whatever happens to you is by the hand of God so we must submit ourselves to God even in prayer and we must pray according to the will of God God always answers prayer but the problem is our expectation is not the will of God our expect expectation is our lusts our desires if we are seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness then we will expect to happen what God wants to happen and we will learn from our circumstances what God wants to teach us because God has a purpose with everything we read in James chapter 4 verse 3 he says you ask and you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures you adulteresses do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility toward God therefore whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God many Christians who are really enemies of God they are after their own lusts and when they pray it is to fulfill their own lusts the lust of the flesh and not the kingdom of God the majority of Christians are not interested in the kingdom of God they have been taught that God is their servant and a God will supply in their needs because he loves them so much God loves us yes but he brings us into his kingdom for his purpose to be part of his plan not for him to be part of our plan and to fulfill our lusts we must have our eyes on Jesus and then he will show us what his desires are when we pray we must pray for the, for the kingdom of God for what is good for the kingdom of God our sights must be set not on our own desires but on the kingdom of God how can the kingdom of God be expanded through me how can I be serviceable in the kingdom of God how can the Lord use me when I pray that prayer then God will answer every prayer and I will see it answered because then my sight is set on the kingdom of God on the will of God on pleasing Jesus Christ we also read in Romans chapter 8 Paul talks about the Holy Spirit that lives in us if we're baptized in the Holy Spirit and we pray and we pray in the Spirit and the Spirit of God prays through us and in us according to the will of God we read in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 he says and in the same way also the Spirit helps our weaknesses for we do not know how to pray as we should but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words and he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is not my mind but the mind of the Spirit is because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God we got to pray according to the will of God and if the Spirit of Christ is in us he will pray according to the will of God people who are baptized in the Holy Spirit and they pray in tongues they often pray and they they get into groaning the Spirit of God in them groans and prays and intercedes according to the will of God 
they don't know why but they've got this passion inside of them this groaning of the Holy Spirit that cries out according to the will of God we become a vessel an extension of God of Jesus Christ so that his spirit works his passion through us for his will and then we get the mind of Christ where he puts his mind into us so that we have the desires of Christ to build his kingdom to bring the gospel to lost people to pray and intercede for family and loved ones who are lost because then when we pray according to the will of God we see how our prayers are answered how God opens doors and how souls are saved if we remain in Christ we pray and he answers our prayers we read in uh, John chapter 14, 15 verse 7 Jesus said if you abide in me and your words abide in me ask whatever you wish and that shall be done for you now people say why why do they pray and God doesn't answer it's because they're not abiding in Christ they are abiding in their own desires they got their sight sets on their own, their own things. They want a new car, a bigger TV, a bigger house, another job, more money. Why do you want that, my friend? It's because your sight is set on your flesh. When your sight is set on Christ, you will say, Lord, whatever you do is good. Whatever job you give me is good because you've got a purpose for me there. Lord, wherever you send me is good. Whatever my circumstances are your will you are teaching me something through it or whatever you've got in mind for me I'm serving that purpose wherever you put me wherever you send me and then we see the will of God being exercised in our lives because we don't have our eyes set on ourselves but on Christ on fulfilling his purpose and then he will open our mind and put his purpose in us he will explain to us what his purpose is we will see the kingdom of God. Jesus said in uh, John chapter 3, He said, if, you do not, if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So when the Spirit of God prays in us and we've got our sight set on Christ, then we see the kingdom of God. We see the purpose of God. God shows us His purpose. He makes us useful in His kingdom. And He supplies in our needs to fulfill his will and his kingdom the Lord's prayer he says Father you pray our Father who art in heaven thy will be done thy kingdom come. it's not about us it's about Jesus Christ so if our prayers are not answered it's because we haven't repented yet there is still some repentance to be done in our lives we need to repent of ourselves not only of sin of sin also but also of ourselves we need to lay down ourselves and put on Christ so that we have the burden of Christ in us a burden for lost souls a burden for this world a burden to do the works of Christ because then we are the body of Christ doing the works of Christ speaking the words of Christ and doing the actions of Christ through us and we pray according to the will of God and all our prayers are answered because our sight is set on Jesus Christ and achieving what His Spirit wants to achieve through us. Jesus bless you.